Hey everybody, my name is Chase. I am a Telepresence Experience Advisor with Ignite Collaboration Services Group. So my role is to try and help our clients really optimize the Telepresence Experience for the end user. I do quite a bit of end user training as well as product demonstrations. So it just sort of seemed natural for me to roll out this little video series on the Cisco Telepresence portfolio. Today we're going to start right on the desktop with Jabber Video version 4.4, uh, formerly known as Movi. And I'm just going to do a quick little instructional demonstration on the important and need to know end user functionalities of Jabber. So if you're new to Jabber or your company is just rolling it out or maybe you need a refresher, this video should definitely be of some assistance. So please enjoy. Okay, so to get started, let's work under the assumption that you have just had Jabber installed on your desktop and you do not have a shortcut created for it yet. So you will, if you are a Windows user, go to your Start menu, open it up, start typing in Jabber, and there you see Cisco Jabber Video for Telepresence. Select that to open up the client, and there you see your Jabber Video client on the right-hand side of the screen. Now there are a few things to take note of when you first open up your Jabber. First is your username. Mine there is Chase Dolomont. If you hover over your username, it will show you your video address. So you can see that mine is chase.dolomont at ignitecsg.com. To the left of your username is your presence indicator. My jelly bean is currently green or online. I will switch it to busy uh, for the purpose of this video. And also, if you think you're going to be a frequent user of Jabber, you can select the thumbtack in the top right hand corner of the client and this will pin Jabber to your taskbar. Now this is also a good time to take a look at what the Jabber icon looks like. It is this silver target looking icon at the bottom of my screen. That is your Jabber icon. Okay, so another thing to investigate before you start placing and receiving calls is your self view. You want to check it out and see what the other end is going to see before you get into some video calls. So to check your self view, you want to select this open video window icon in the top right hand corner of the client. And voila, there's your self view. Now this is useful if before calls you maybe want to come in and adjust your camera a bit, check the lighting, maybe make sure you've got no food on your face from lunch. If you do, uh, I strongly advise you wipe that off before you start making video calls. Um, anything self view related, if you want to just come in, see what your surroundings look like, get a feel for what the other end is going to see, this is the spot to do it. And we will just close this for now. Pop Jabber back up. So you've got your presence set, you're online, uh, you've checked your self view, and you're ready to start making some calls. The only issue is you don't see any contacts. And that is because they're somewhat hidden, but there are a few different ways to find them. As it says in the search field here, First thing you can do is just type the name, number, or address of whoever it is you're looking for. And the search results are character specific, so as you get more specific, so do the results. So I type in J, I get everybody in my video network with a J, J-O-H. So we can see John Laguerre here, a colleague of mine. Now the next way to find contacts is to simply enter an asterisk into the search field. This is going to populate your search results with everybody on your video network. So you can see that it does so in alphabetical order. So to find your contacts, you can either type in the name of the person you're looking for or enter an asterisk into the search field. But there's one other thing you need to be able to do in regards to your contacts, and that is determine their presence. So if I go to myself, you can see I have two video accounts, but we select this one, the one that I have in use right now. And you can see my jelly bean there. It's a single click, and you can see that I am busy. Uh, if we go back to my full list of contacts, single click on the boardroom, we can see that it is open or if we type in the name of a colleague of mine, John, single click, see he's got a gray jelly bean, John is offline. So that is how you check presence, just a single click on whoever's name you're curious about. So you now know how to find your contacts, you can enter an asterisk or type in their name, but every time you open up your Jabber, you're still gonna be faced with this blank screen until you populate your favorites. Now, I will show you how to do that, it is quite simple. I will use John as an example again, single click on his name, add to favorites, it's gonna show me his username, as well as his video address or his URI. Select Save, and you will see that John is now under my favorites. We'll do the same thing with another colleague of mine, Kurt. Single click on his name, Kurt is also offline. Add to favorites. And there you can see Kurt and John are listed under my favorites. So that 
Every time I open up my Jabber, those two are going to be right on the forefront of my client. Now, normally I have about eight to 10 colleagues and clients who I'm in pretty close communication with listed under my favorites, but I just cleared my favorites window for this video. And you can see just how easy it is to populate that. Now, making our way across our Jabber client, you see the history tab. I have actually just had my Jabber account reset as of very recently. So I've only got one call listed under here, which took place two days ago. But history is very useful for having a look at the records of your incoming and outgoing calls. This is a good spot to go in, have a look at who called, and you can call right from your favorites. Single click on the name, hit start, and that will initiate the call. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to go about placing a call. So earlier we added Kurt and John to my favorites. So to place a call, I'm going to place it right in my favorites list. I select Kurt's name and start will initiate the call. Now Kurt is our AV telepresence consultant at Ignite CSG, so let's give him a call and see what he's up to. Hey Kurt, how's it going? Good, good. Good. I'm just doing the little Jabber demo that I was telling you about. Okay, sounds good. Okay, so I'll just be a sec. So I'll just do a quick run of the on-screen display. On the far left here you have your show self view icon. If you select it, your self view will pop up in the bottom left hand corner. Then you have your camera and mic controls. Your mute mic, turn camera on and off. And you have your volume control for the client as well as full screen mode. And next you have likely the most important uh, feature of Jabber is your share presentation. So if you select it, you get a list of all of the applications that you have open. And you also have the option to share your entire screen. So I will send this website Kurt's way. Can you see that okay, Kurt? Uh, yeah, looks good. Awesome. And so to stop sharing a presentation, you select the share presentation button again, and then you can see stop sharing presentation. Could you send a presentation my way, Kurt? Yeah, sure. One second here. Awesome. Okay, and there you can see what Kurt would have seen when I pushed my presentation to him. So you can share websites, Word documents, uh, whatever you like, your entire desktop. So that's a look at our wonderful website. So if you want to learn more about us, um, who we are and what we do, check out ignitecsg.com. So just to note, I'm calling from home and Kurt is in our head office in Calgary, Alberta. Okay, that's great, Kurt. Thanks. No problem. Okay, man. I'm going to hop off this call. Thanks for your help. Okay, take care. Okay, talk to you later. And then as you can see, you just hit end call to disconnect the call. And it's really that easy to make calls using your Jabber. So I should also note that you would have noticed a padlock icon appear when my call with Kurt connected. That's just a little icon letting you know that your call is encrypted. So it is a secure call, which of course gives Jabber an advantage over most desktop video clients. So that concludes this session on Jabber Video. Uh, just as a review, we covered off how to find contacts as well as how to add them to favorites and determine their presence, how to check your self view, how to place calls, and then how to share presentations when you're in calls. Now, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact me at the email address I'm going to provide at the end. Also, you can contact us through our website at ignitecsg.com. Um, and stay tuned for future installments on the Cisco Telepresence portfolio. I'm going to be rolling out a couple more videos over the next little while, so stay tuned for those. But uh, in the meantime, enjoy your Jabber, and thanks so much.